This level is all about speed. That's how we've been doing things. These are bouncers. Bounce pads. Oh, that's fun. Since this level is fast, it's time to teach you some new things. You can use weight frames F to gain even more precision control over your bot's movement. A frame is the poss smallest possible interval the bot can wait for by default. The simulation runs at 200 frames per second. You can change this rate using tick rate. You'll probably need more precision up here. What the? You can drag in code? Oh, and then adjust the frames here and then tick rate. Tick rate, I would want it to be high, right? I kind of don't want to go in frames. I know the game's telling me to, but I, I really like my old method and I don't want to change it. So we're going to start by moving left and then we're going to be bounced up naturally. What does that look like? Wow. Let me try something. Let me move left. Let me wait. But I want to have it go until about here, 0 0.64, and then I'll just have it go right. And then move right, wait, 0 0.1, and then move left. Let's make sure this doesn't donk. It doesn't, good. So then move left, wait until grounded, and then jump, and we'll see where that gets me. Okay, that's bad. I'm gonna wait until grounded. And then I'm going to wait until not grounded. And then I'm not going to jump. I'm just going to fly off the edge and I'm going to use the hook to hook myself down. Wait another 0.1 seconds. And then hook down right. Wait. Not sure how long. Maybe 0.15 and then unhook. And I'll see where that gets me. Wow. Okay, that was really fast. I'm going to go 0 0.01. Whoo, that's closer to what I wanted. Wee, all right, very well. The hook still happens too slow, in my opinion. Like, it, I wanted to drag me almost at more of a horizontal angle. Let's go 0 0.06, and then I'll have it wait less long, so 0 0.1, and then unhook. Ooh, not bad. 3.05 seconds. Can I optimize it all? Yeah, I do have a donk, so I can release even... Well, I have to release a little later. Okay, so maybe I'll just wait longer to hook then. All right, it went faster. 3.002. Yeah, it's ever so slightly faster. <laughs> uh, can I get sub three seconds? Because I, I know I have a donk in here. But the donk kind of helps line things up so i don't know it's 0 0.002 seconds how hard can it be to shave like maybe i could be slightly more efficient on my hook what if i wait a little longer to hook then 0 0.07 and then like to hook and then 0 0.1 to release and then in midair i'll just move right we could do 1.4 1 1.4 1 oh we're pretty close 1.44 would be fine my guess was very close Oh, okay, a little bit sooner, 1.42. Yay, we broke the three-second barrier. Let's go. I'm happy about that. On to the next one. Oh, I'm just on my own. No tutorial bot. I kind of want to just get both of these in one jump. One jump and then launch myself. Yeah, just try to do one big loop. So, move right. And then jump. Wait until grounded and then jump again. Does that hit the boost? It does. It puts me up there. I don't know how I feel about that. Or I could like snake down and then up, but I don't think that's going to happen. Maybe I could try snaking down. It could be fun. Like from 1.035 maybe? I could hook right. 1.035, hook down right. And then wait, God knows how long, maybe 0 0.4. I guess I'll have to be move left and then unhook. Maybe I wait 0 0.2, hook down right again, wait 0 0.7, like these are all guesses, move right, unhook, and we'll see where that gets me. Ooh, ooh I lose a lot of speed there. I could 
wait a little bit longer on the first tick. We can go like 0 0.5. Oh, wait, I also, uh, I'm also looking at the wrong thing. I want to wait 1.4. What was this at before? 0 0.5 or something. I would also need to hook down left and a little bit sooner. We'll go 1.35 and this is wrong. I'll go frame, fr frame by frame. That wasn't too bad. 1.37 might get there. And I don't want to wait that long. It might be 0 0.2. Frame by frame. Here we go. And then release. Oh, that's pretty clean. Wait, this is insane, actually. <laughs> Holy crap, that was not too bad. Look at this. Boom, boom. <laughs> Very fast death, but hey, not too bad. Let me release a little bit sooner. No, I need to release later. I have this backwards. 0 0.2. Let's try 0 0.23. Okay, 0 0.205, because I guess it's very touchy. And then I'll have to go frame by frame to figure out when to do my next launch. Yeah, this is really good looking. Oh, this looks good, actually. Oh, so close. Oh, also, I have to change the tick rate. Tick rate 1,000. I guess I could probably make it higher if I chose. Ooh, that's what I like to see. That's a good um, swirl. Let's go frame by frame, figure out when I should release. And it'll put me up maybe here. Like I'm looking at the angle of which I'm moving currently. I want to be able to go right up here. So that's 0 0.264. 0 0.264. We'll see how close that actually is. Ooh, okay, a little bit too soon on the release. No, too late. 0 0.262, let's try. By God, that was amazing. Okay, I like that it's very close to the block because the orb pickup is really close to it as well. So we're gonna go bit by bit, figure out when we want this. So hook left maybe now? 0 0.481. Left. Wait, I'm gonna just guess like 0 0.2 and then move left and then unhook. And I'm hoping I could just launch straight into the goal. The only thing I would need to change then is my slow start. Whoa, okay, I'm hooking a little too late. Let's go 0 0.47. No, let's take that back a touch. All right, so I think I just need to release sooner. Release here, I think, is good. 1.32 is all I need to wait for. Let's try it. Okay, I think I'm releasing too soon. No, too late. Let's try 1.2 or 0.12. Oh, I don't get enough speed. I could just hook onto something else. Like, I could hook onto this just fine. Yeah, I think what I can do is just mid-air, just hook onto the Xbox up there. I'll have to time that. Maybe, ooh, a little bit back, I think. Because it's got to take some time for the hook to travel mid-air. 0 0.62. 0 0.62. Hook left. Wait, probably 0 0.1. Really short time is all I need. The minor angle correction. Now, that was actually too late of a hook. All right, we're going to go 0 0.55. No! I also didn't program it to unhook. Unhook. Uh, and the issue is actually we're going to miss this. So what I think I need to do is wait a little bit longer on the release. No, shorter. I have it backwards again. This is a lot slower, unfortunately. Okay, that's way too long of a wait. So let's go half that time. Yeah, I think I lose out on some important speed. That missed! Okay, unhook even sooner. 0 0.3. No, not 0 0.34. Okay, maybe 0 0.34 was actually the move. And the game was trying to tell me something. What? 
I went so fast that the portal had not registered by the time I made it there. I didn't even realize that was possible. It takes time for the portal orbs to charge the thing? Look at this. I've collected it, but it's not charged yet. Still have not collected it. Still have not collected it. Oh, that's BS. That is such BS. Okay, well, the good news is I could just wait a bit and then move right. So it's not like the biggest deal in the world. Like, I could wait 0.35 and move right, but that's a little annoying, isn't it? Wait, 0.35, move right. And that should work. A little slow in the early sections. But once it gets going, it gets going. Eh, 24th, though. 5.261 seconds. Probably a lot more lines than average. I didn't even check that. I'm going for speed at this point. Oh, uh, close to average. It's not too bad. All right, let's move on to the next one. Wow. A lot going on here. What the hell do I want my route to be? All I know is this conveyor belt moves to the right. So I feel as though I want to just run off, run onto the conveyor belt, and then launch around here, have this launch me backwards. And this, this is a tight gap to navigate. Let me just see what happens if I move right. Wait until orb pick up. Wait again until grounded. And then jump. What does this actually do for me? That's interesting, actually. Hold on. Because I don't think I actually need to wait until grounded, first off. And then I definitely can hook onto this box. 100%. I want my tick rate to be a thousand first off. So I should probably change that. Maybe here. 0 0.49 hook down right. Eh, I could go 0 0.5. Wait. 0 0.5 hook down right. Wait. If I had to guess 0 0.7 and then move left and unhook. Oh, I think I want to wait longer and then hook down left. Let me wait. Let me just guess here. 0 0.7, hook down left, and then this weight can be shorter. 0 0.5 maybe. I'll have to calibrate this. Oh, that's pretty good looking actually. Oh, if only that doesn't land me right on the treadmill. Let me recalibrate it. I think I need to hook a little bit. I think I'm going to try waiting a little bit longer to hook. And then I'm going to release a lot more quickly. Ah, but I lose so much speed this way. Let me just go like 0 0.44 instead. So now I'm released. That's decent, actually. Maybe I could wait a touch longer, though. 0 0.46, why not? See, that was decent. Too bad it landed me right on top of the spikes. It's because I hit the wall. Is it not possible for me to make it through there? No, it's not. Okay. I think I just want to hook down right to try to get myself through this gap. And that might be a little bit better. I think I kind of want to get this booster. Okay, 4.52. Ooh, I did hit it. So unhook and then wait until boosted. And then I want to hook down right. Wait, if I had to guess like 0 0.2 unhook and then wait 0 0.05 hook left. Wait, maybe another 0 0.2 and then unhook. So I'm hoping to hit this and then curve through here and then over to here. It will obviously take some adjusting. Ooh, okay. I want to wait until boosted and then wait a little longer to hook. Wait, let's try 0 0.1. Ooh, okay. It got me through. I'm just releasing too quick or too late. I want to wait until now. 0 0.095, let's try. 0 0.095, then wait a bit to hook, and this is also going to be a quick release. I'll do 0 0.1 to try it out. Woo, okay, I think I'm hooking too soon, actually. Yeah, 
Well, actually, I'm not hooking too soon. If I hook on this, I could just release really quickly. Like, I could do 0.025 on the release, and that might work. That's not even what I planned to hook on, but this would be faster if it works. Ooh, what do I hit? Do I hit something? I think oh, I do donk this. I need to release even sooner then. 0.015. I, I got there too fast again, I think. Here, let me go back a few steps and see how close I was to hitting this corner first off. Maybe I'll need to hook again. Look at this. This is still coming to here. Uh, what I'm going to do is at 0 0.066, I'll hook left again. We're working in such small fractions of a second here. Hook left. Wait, 0 0.02 on hook. And if this gets me there too fast, I will be shocked. Ooh, I don't know if the hook left actually happened. Oh, okay. I unhooked before it even connected. So I gotta go like 0.04 here. That might work. I'm too fast again. <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh man, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go wait until grounded and then stop because I think that will line it up perfectly. I can't believe I get there so quickly. 3.744, almost half of the average speed and a second and a half off of the record. This is insane. The only thing bad about it is the start. Dude, th this is sick. I love this game so much. Just getting a good code to work is phenomenal.